Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, oh. Stanley. All right, coming in with the Kings of Napa, season one, episode seven. Yeah, man. Bamboozle. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to just go run it because it wasn't a whole lot that happened, but it was a whole... It's a yeah, lot man. of holes, y'all. And, and and I don't even know what to think at this point. Yeah, because they got so many moving parts. That the, I said they put the capital D in this function. Hello. And let's address the elephant in the room. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're on, on vacation. We're, on vac yeah, yeah. we're working on vacation <laughs> so that I can claim this as a deduction on my tax. So <laughs> last week, y'all know Auntie Melody fell down when the police pushed her, which we have not addressed. It's almost like when it happened to Mr. Prosper over there on Greenleaf. Yeah. Not yeah. Greenleaf. Um, Queen Sugar. Queen Sugar, yeah. Nobody ever addressed police brutality. Yeah. At all. So anyway, she got pushed and she hit her head, started foaming at the mouth. So we have the entire King family over at the hospital. So you have Dana talking about some, hey, nurse, we're kings. My dad was the head of surgery over here. You need to tell me what's going on with my aunt. Nurse was like, hey, you need to sit here and wait for the doctor. <laughs> Just like everybody Just else. Just like everybody else. Yeah. What you're not going to do is make, make me risk my good job, my good benefits, fooling <laughs> yeah. around with your king tail. <laughs> so the mom of Vanessa was like, you know what? I learned something from the good old pastor in times like this. We just need to pray. Right. And they looking at each other like, when we start yeah, praying? Yeah. So then August looks at Dana and was like, yeah, you need to pray for forgiveness for what you did to Bridget. So they just going on and on and on. <laughs> so the doctor finally comes out and he was like, you know, she has something called, what was it? African yes. sleeping syndrome yeah, or something, something like that. I was like, what is that? And basically, it's something that she contracted when she was over in another country, and it has the it sometimes can make you go into a comatose state, yeah. and that's where she is right now. It's touch and go, whatever. But she does have a daughter, right? Now, don't nobody want to tell a good doctor that this one over here got the daughter locked, locked up, up. <laughs> so yeah. she's not quite available right now. But he was like, you know, she's going to need to come up here and tell her to be prepared. Basically, your mama might not come up out of this. And I'm like, what in the Sam hell is going on here? So then Yvette, Auntie Yvette comes into town from Vegas. I said, what, what are you doing in Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> but she's coming in and she's like, hold on, wait a minute. Y'all really don't took and got Bridget locked up like there's a whole lot of dysfunction in this family, but y'all really think that she did something like this? Of course, Dana was like, you know, all the evidence is pointing towards this. And then you kind of got August on the on the side of, you know, yeah, but no, but yeah, but no. Whole lot of dysfunction. And that's where I'm at. I'm like, yeah, she did it. No, she didn't do it. Or well, maybe she did do it. Because the evidence points at her. But, but the it's evidence, too obvious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like too easy. Yeah, so then... um. Vanessa was like, you know what? If if Bridget did extort us, her mama and her daddy betrayed yeah. her. So what? I mean, so what? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so now everybody looking at her and Dana was like, oh, so you protecting and defending her better than you do your, your own kid. children. I'm he said, oh, I forgot. You left us. <laughs> I said, here we freaking go, right? And then she told myself, now I see why Rose left you. <laughs> And then later on, we'll come back and talk about some. You really want to talk about it? Like, what's going on with you? It, it what's, Have you talked to Rose? I am fine. I am quite fine. Because now he get this little pee pee massage by this uh, masseuse yeah. that he keep hiding and coming <laughs> Not up around. Not a masseuse, but a lot of A lot of at, at some point. So, um, Dana tells his mama, look, let me tell you what's really going on at this point. My wife is confused and right now. She don't know what she won't do. <laughs> So unless I can grow me some tits, then I don't know what to do with this. I said, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> Vanessa's looking at him like, but we still got no transition of Brit of um, Rose leaving out of town. Like we know and what saying. happened. Yeah, the last the last thing we've seen was when her and Bridget was was kissing, and she said, "I can't do it because I'm getting ready to have a baby with Dana," and then you just disappeared. And just, so is she even pregnant? I like. There is a whole lot going on that, like you said, did, is there an episode in between these episodes that we missed? Because there's no transition. But any hoodles. So over at the press release, right, they have this little thing going on where it's supposed to create a buzz, get to know who's who in their room so they can start talking about this wine that they'll get ready to launch and whatnot. So at some point, we saw, oh, um, Reporter Bay. Y'all remember yeah. Reporter Bay? 
that caught the family dysfunction on camera, and she was going to put that out there for the world to see. Yep. But Vanessa pulled in some, called in some strings to be pulled back, and homegirl wasn't able to do that. But now she was swimming her way into this private press release. So they're looking at her like, like, oh, so she's a wine critic now? They're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> so she came there to drop off some dirty laundry. Uh -huh. So in the release, she was like, hmm, this wine is good. Quite familiar. Kind of like the one that Sean and Sean is about to release. Oh, you're not aware that a couple of weeks ago they had a secret tasting and that they're going to launch um, their wine very similar to yours, better price point. Better profit margins, all this good stuff. So now you got all this over there getting ready going to a whole yeah. panic attack because her family and this business is riding on this it's wine. dessert wine. Yeah. So next thing we know, we see Dana and Christian go over there to Sean and Sean trying to shake them up because now we realize what the hell don't happen. Bridget went over there mm -hmm. when she was working for them and they ran her mouth about what they're going to do over at the yep. Kings. And they're going to, Sean and Sean was like, oh, we're about to do our own as well. And she even probably gave them the release date. So they yep. positioned themselves to be able to release yep. months before they did. I said, ain't this about a blip? But at the end of the day, kind of like what Vanessa said in the beginning. Can you blame Bridget for, for doing what she's, she's doing. doing? Yeah. <clears throat> and now... Not only that, and the treatment that she's getting from them. Hello, so now it's, all, it's almost justifiable at like, this moment. Like, yeah. Like, when Vanessa said, you know what, if she was, it started us so freaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> you see what this girl has gone through, but I'm like, that's, 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 that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. it is a lot. That's a lot. But anyway, so, um, Evac goes down there to the jail, right? And she's talking to Bridget. She's like, Bridget, I know you didn't do this. I was like, well, we don't know. Uh, we, don't know <laughs> we don't know nothing. We don't know nothing. We don't know NATO. We don't know nothing. We're just hoping that she ain't the dead. So Bridget is in there and she was like, you know, my family should know me by now. This is this and this is that. Bridget ended up, um, no, Auntie Yvette ended up going over that. We're going to run through this because it wasn't a whole lot. And Bridget's not giving you a whole lot. And if you ask her questions, she answers your questions with a question. Question, yep. So Yvette goes over there to Calvin and was like, Hey, yo, I'm going to need you to represent Bridget and I'm going to need you to do it ASAP. I was like, how? How, Sway? And um, he was like, you do know that a lot of evidence is pointing towards her guilt, right? And she was like, yeah, but we all know that things like this can be set up. He was like, no, 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 you're not understanding there is a case against her, and it does not look good at all. Yeah. And then later on, Dana let us know that, hey, yo, her house about to be raided tomorrow. So whatever she got in that house while she's in the jail, she can't even prepare to hide it from them in the raid because house wide open. She about <laughs> everything about to be found out. So Calvin is privy to a whole lot of this information, but Auntie Yvette shook him down with the, you know what we've done for you, uh -huh. for you. We got you out of foster care. Yeah, yeah. We did this and we did that. So, so basically how, you wouldn't have a life you got now, but wouldn't for us. So how can you say no to that? Even with him bucking down August. So next day we know, all right, he's representing Bridget. He's getting Bridget out of jail. And he's telling her, say, hey, it may look good for you to just go ahead and take a plea. plea. And she was like, why would I take a plea deal when I'm not guilty? He was like, there is a lot of guilt in the evidence that we have yeah, found it. So you can get 20. I My said, God, Whoa. Dawn. So, long story short, eventually he came to her with the proposition that, hey, you need to clean yourself up and go see your mama, but clean yourself up first. It's a whole lot of touch and go. But because you could get 20 years for this and it's a felony, they are prepared to offer you a plea of six months, five months suspended, so which means she's gonna serve one month uh -huh. and five hundred thousand dollars in restitution. Oh my God! So she says, "So wait a minute. I got to plead guilty as if I did it, and pay a half a million just to say that I was guilty of something I wasn't guilty of." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah. because the case is already stacked against you, which and they're gonna they're trying to make an example out of it, right? Here. Which is a good plea deal if, if you, you did." did. Only do a month in jail and uh, and pay a half a meal, and you are and you and you and, and I don't know how long <laughs> if it's you that you've been uh, stored in Reggie for hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, so that shouldn't be a, 
There should be a little drop in the bucket. Right. Speaking of a drop in the bucket, so Miss Bridget ends up going home, right? And she's in this panic, like, my house is bucked up, but I have something I need to find. Yeah. Like, it's, did they find my secret treasure? She pulls down this painting, and she pops the back of the painting open, and it's full of racks on racks on racks. Mm -hmm. Yep, full of cash. I was like, wait a minute. So Stella's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Maybe it is her, because the extortion is, is getting cash only. And that's a lot of cash, but it still don't mean that though. But why does she have all this cash money behind a painting where she got a legit job? Where she gets I a know, good... I know somebody... She get direct deposits. I don't know about now, because I haven't talked to them in a while, that they never put their money in the banks, because they didn't trust the banks. Mm -hmm. So maybe Bridget don't trust the banks. Maybe that's all her savings over the years. Shout out, they don't Working trust on the vineyard. <laughs> So, over at the house, right, we see Auntie Yvette and Jason. Y'all remember Jason, the one that, sh that, that dicked them down? Yeah. Because they're going to be the ones that's going to be producing the House of Kings new wine that's going to come out or whatever. So, he gets a telephone call. They're still trying to iron all this stuff out about this wine, all this stuff, whatever. And he gets a phone call and he was like, Yvette, I think we need to talk. And I was like, oh, he about to break up with her because he don't got the goods uh -huh. now. He don't yep. need it no go. So she was like, no, no, we got some things. We need. He was like, no, we need to talk. Well, come find out that his <laughs> bosses was like, hey, you need to cut ties with the Kings right now. We're going to actually produce the wine from, for Sean and Sean. Auntie Yvette loses her mind and she goes on with a whole lot of history that we all should know about how they cut the, the necks of the black um of the black um the little, little, little vineyards Vineyard. and the yeah. black wine produced all that good yeah, stuff yeah. and how they make sure that mm. whatever it is that we're trying to do they cut us to the chase they blackball us to do all so she said basically this is what is happening right now this is a race car now Jason is one of those people that has been working for the man so long I I thought that Jason was the man, the man, I did the too. man. I did too. That's why I thought she was finessing him like that. She needed to go hide it. Yeah, he's just an employee. You you gave the bus to, to the wrong person. So now you still ain't got no Yeah, money. I was like, what? But he really like her though. Yeah, he do. Yeah, he. So yeah, like I said, he was he been working for the man for so long. He doesn't understand when the lines are being crossed Cross. yeah. into this biased and non-biased thing. Because at the end of the day, even if they had the same two wine blend, the you kings the kings came to them first and they worked out a deal. That's it. So it's clearly why the reason why they switched was the race car. Clearly. Yep. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with the price point or anything like that. Because what do they care? They yeah. still gonna get the distributors gonna still get their money. They still gonna get their money. <laughs> yeah. So later on we see Dana. Dana is still wilding. <laughs> Out. So he has masseuse after masseuse yeah. after masseuse. <laughs> He's walking around the house in a towel. And Christian is looking at him like, like what the hell is going like, on Ninja, with you, What the bro? fuck is you doing? Now you know it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> when a sibling calls another sibling's wife, ex, or yeah. anything to get them straight. Christian called Rose and was like, hey, hey, sis, sis. <laughs> I, you got my bro out here bugging. Oh, he messed up. He is messed up. <laughs> like he got mas masseuses come. He was. This is not. This, what ain't, we, this, this ain't, ain't even his style. This ain't his style at all. <laughs> like you remember this, and you remember how he used to hold your hand, and how, you make him a better man. You know this this guy right here. We need you, Rose. Rose but he was. But back. he was. He was talking like Dana was out there straight wilding before Rose came in his life, like was. reckless wild. How reckless he is with the family he loved. Good point. <laughs> Can you Good imagine point. how he is with yeah. his love? Yeah, left it to himself. Yeah, dangerous. Dangerous is yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, Rose, Rose, come on back. At least just to confront him so we can see. If you want to leave him alone, just do the closure thing. But I don't know. But she did. She texted on um, Bridget too. I said, what in the... Tangled, that tangled web we 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 got going on here. I don't even know at this <sighs> point. So Calvin and August are talking, right? Because now Miss August is all upset because Calvin is representing Bridget. 
you of all people should understand, August, that this man has no choice but to represent yeah. Bridget. I mean, at the end of the day, but, yes, that's your sister. But, but they like that, though. Business, yes. business is business when it comes down to them, but when it's somebody else, it's personal. It's very personal. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, listen, I got a job to do. Like, I have this ethic code that I have to adhere to. And if I'm hired to do a job, I got to do a job, no, regardless of who it is. Mm hmm then long I gotta story make short, that bread. Yeah. Then long story short, Bridget calls him and was like, you know what? I'm my father. I'm more of my father than any of his other children are. And because I am innocent, I'm gonna fight this thing to the death of me. I said, here we I go. I said, Lord have mercy. Then here she said, go. You're fired. So she done fired Calvin. Then within 20 minutes, she gonna call Calvin back, talking about some, you know what, psych. I need you. I need to so hire you back. Says she played a game that he, that, that Tariq done played on Tamika and Powell. The father. And brought the, her back. Uh -huh. No, that Tasha did. Tasha, yeah. They hired her back because they need her. And then be like, no, I don't need you no more. You dismiss. I said, Calvin, don't even do it no more. You tell Auntie Yvette, I tried. She fired me. She tried to hire me back. I don't have time for the emotional roller coaster that y'all do with each other. So I'm like, why would she do that? And I'm like, it's not that she don't have the money. To hire somebody else, but at the same time, if she does hire somebody else, it's going to prove that she has money. Right. So I believe that's what she came, she came to her senses was like, I can't afford in so many ways to hire somebody else because then where you get that money from? But Calvin is expensive too. Calvin ain't getting paid for this. I've heard that. This is a favor. You think so? It's a family the favor. Pro, pro bono. <laughs> They're getting them out of there on foster care. He gonna forever pay this debt. You hear me? And that's one of the things he didn't want to do was forever have to pay a debt. That's to why. Kings. That's why it's hard for me to let somebody do something. Me that. too. Cause you because what you ain't fit to do is hold that skit over my head to play a card a later date in life to get what you want out of me. Yeah, that's like Kane. Ever. <laughs> that's like Kane. Hey, we had this together. Go yeah. Put, yeah, pull that body up. Yeah, favor for a favor. And, you, and it never ends. Now, I, now I believe that you ought to be good to the people that are good in you, to you in your life. But if you're doing it to get something from them, that's manipulation one yeah, on one. Yeah, yeah, you don't do and that. And now I'm asking myself why you do it in the first place. Right? Are you put Are you putting in so you can pull out later? Yeah. I ain't got time for that kind of stuff in my life. So <sighs> Calvin tells August like, "Hey, because when she found out that now he wasn't going to be representing Bridget." Like within that little twenty minute span of time, she was ready to go down in his pants, do what she do, and he was like, "Oh, oh, oh. I want to take things slow. I want to do things differently. How about meeting my son? Oh, she's so happy, go lucky, whatever. But when he got hired again to go back with Bridget, he was like, you know what? I got a case to prepare for. But when he said that, I said something ain't right. Mm -mm. Because you weren't thinking that when y'all was up out there at the and football then, field about taking it slow uh -huh. and, and, and meeting your son. Yeah. But all of a sudden today, nah, we can't move in like that. Which I know you can really talk about it. So, <laughs> he goes to leave out the door. And who's at the door? At August's door. His wife, Sonia. And she was like, I thought that were you two. And I was remember when they were doing that little run. Somebody, well, yeah, somebody, somebody went was by. Yeah. And they, they made it obvious that they mm -hmm. wanted us to see that there was somebody that ran past them. Yeah. And I was like, who the hell was that? Well... The wife realized that, yeah, that's them two that's looking all smitten and all of that. So you sleeping with her? And August was like, what is this all about? So the wife tells Calvin, say, you know this changes things, right? Like, it this really what? changes things that you're sleeping with somebody before the ink is dry on our divorce. And I'm like, yeah, what does that change? Yeah. Like, yeah. what's going on here? But I always thought how ironic when uh, August was ready to give him some, and he stopped her. And then the wife comes. And the wife comes right there. Which we always say we, we didn't trust Calvin, man. He was... And why is the wife standing at your door? At the yeah. door? Anyway, and then also, why are you doing in my house? But she would dress like she was coming to pick them up to go we'll on go a date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, because, hey, would you came like that? Would you came over there with Oh, some... sweats. Sweats, tennis shoes, nice. You be coming ready to fight. Yeah, Timberland boots, actually. Because somebody will get stomped the hell out. <laughs> Stump the hell out. So then we see Bridget, right? I'm mad that we never got a scene when we saw Bridget go visit her mom. Yeah. 
Okay. But we see Bridget pull up in this dark place, and we see this white man standing out there beside his um SUV. And I said, is this the man yeah. Bridget using, using to extort the family? So she was like, I want to go ahead and move on this plan. And he was like, oh, no, your name is out there yeah, like that. Yeah, you too hot now. You too hot. We, we can't, maybe when, after you go to trial and all that stuff, we can do something, but not right now. And I don't think it has anything to do with the extortion. I think maybe. Oh, no. I'm thinking maybe it, she's it, trying to do her own wine blend or maybe she's trying to work with it. Like maybe. Christian said, <laughs> too much evidence is pointing at Bridget. Now, they don't know about the pain, but we do. They don't know about this 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 uh, white dude in the meeting in the dog, but we do. But we do. <laughs> it's a lot going on, and like somebody said in the comments, it was like at this point I don't know who did it. No, I don't either. Yeah. Oh, this is back to work. I said, well, darn. I probably wouldn't have came back to that job. I ain't even gonna lie. Y'all put. Y but I think. Uh, but I think next week is the season finale. I think you're right. <laughs> then we only get eight episodes. Wow. I think. No hope is up, but I think we only get eight. So hopefully, you know, if we don't, they're most likely gonna leave us with a cliffhanger. Yeah, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To, to that holla boo.